Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to add an auto increment column in the data flow in SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can add the auto incremental column in the data flow task in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. So I have a blank SSIS package and I want to import the data from sellers.csv file which contains person's first name, last name, email, gender and the country information and it does not contain any ID column in it. So what I want is that when the this particular file will be imported to a SQL server table then I want to add an auto increment column but I want to add the increment column in the data flow itself. So I don't want to create it in the SQL server table instead I want to create it in the data flow. So let's see how we can add it in the data flow. So let me open the SSIS package. So what we can do is that we can drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window because data flow task will be used to import the data from a CSV file to the SQL server table. So I can just drag and drop the flat file source into the data flow task and then I can configure the flat file source, create new flat file connection manager, flat file and I can browse the file. The file is situated in the D files location. So I will select the CSV files here and I will select this file here, click open and the text qualifier is double quote here. If you click on preview, so the data seems good here. So I can click on OK. OK. So the flat file source has been configured. And now we can just drag and drop the script component into the data flow task. So we will use it as a transformation. So I can click on OK. Now we can connect the flat file source with the script component. And we can right click and configure the script component here. We need to click on the inputs and outputs. And here we can expand the output. And you can click on output columns and we can click on add column. So I can call the new column as id and the data type will be 4 byte sign integer so this is good and now I can go back to the script and here I can click on edit script so that it will open the script editor for me where I can write the C-sharp code. So the script editor window has been opened up and I can just scroll down. We need to write our code here input 0 process input row. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to declare an integer variable here. So I can just press enter two times integer i equal to zero. And now we need to write our code here row dot id equal to and then we need to assign the value from the i variable that we declared earlier i plus one and then semicolon. And now in the next line what we need to do we need to increment the value of i with one i equal to i plus one semicolon. So that's it. So we have written just three line of code. We have declared a int i variable here and assigned the value of the id column with the int i variable and incremented the value with one. So that's what we are doing here. So I can click on file, exit. I can click on OK. Now I can use an OLEDB destination and I can write this particular data into a SQL server table. So I can connect the script component with the OLEDB destination and then I can configure the OLEDB destination here. I can make a new connection here. So I already have a connection to the work database. So I will select this database connection here. Click OK. From data access mode, I will select table overview fast load. And then I can click on new. So this will create a table for me. So as you can see in the end, it has added a new column ID of integer type. So I can call this particular table as sellers. And in case if you want to declare the ID in the beginning, then maybe you can put it in the beginning. ID int comma and I can remove this comma from here. So I can click on OK. And if you click on mappings, so then you can make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns. So this seems good here. So I can click on OK. And now I can click on start button. So it should insert the data from the flat file source into the SQL server table and an ID column will be added on the fly to the SQL server table. So I can go back to the SSMS and I can just expand the work database and I can expand the tables here. I can refresh the tables here. So yeah, this is the table that got created sellers. So I can select the data from this particular table. So you can see that an ID column has been added here and the value is incremented by one. So it's kind of auto increment column here. So there should be 1000 records in this particular table. Yeah, so this seems good. Yeah, so this is how you can add an auto increment column to the data flow task in the SSIS package. So I think that's it for today's video.
Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.